I am the father of a family, and my family has needs. We have challenges each day, and these things keep coming at me. And they can tempt you to do things that are contrary to your principles. One of my principles, for instance, is that I don't borrow. I don't borrow. One of my principles is that I live within my means. One of my principles is that I walk in contentment. The Bible says that godliness with contentment is great gain. Now, if I'm not prayerful, if I'm not faithful in prayer, and I'm faced with the problems of my family, maybe there's no money, maybe there's no food, maybe there are bills to be paid. If I'm not, if I'm not prayerful, and I see these problems around me, it can scare me. Then it can get me to panic. And when I panic, I might then begin to go. When I'm scared and I'm panicking, I might then begin to go outside of my means. I might begin to do so many things. But if I'm prayerful, if I'm faithful in prayer, I have peace within me. Such that the crisis around does not scare me. I believe that every father, every mother should be a core of stability through the crisis of their families. And that is why every parent must be prayerful. In the crisis, as everything is turning and churning in chaos and confusion, there must be a center that holds together. There must be a core of peace. And you can be that core of peace in your family. You can be that core of peace in your company, in your business, in your ministry. When everything else is going haywire, when there's crisis all around, when there's chaos all around you, you are right there in the midst of it, with peace, with tremendous inner tranquility. That is the first benefit of prayer, deep inner peace.